good morning, good morning. It's Monday, y'all. I'm going up on a Monday, y'all. Ride with me one time. Monday, y'all, first day of the week. Where you going? Come on, come on, car. Morning, good morning. It's Monday, y'all. Uh. It's Monday, y'all. Uh. It's time to work. Time to get it. Who gonna show up today? And when I say show up, who working? Who working out today? Who going to get it today? How y'all making it? Whoa. I got a new phone now, y'all, to bring y'all some different angles of how I do things. Shout out to NAL on the phone now, man. You came through. So, just want to talk to y'all on my way to work, man. Now, y'all probably sleep, but y'all will catch this later. Every day, y'all, we need to show up. Show up and handle your business. Add value to somebody else. Yeah. Every day. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting swole today. I'm gonna do some legs and some. I'm gonna do some legs and some core. I know y'all, everybody else doing chest today. But y'all can have that. I'm gonna do these legs. I really take the road less travel. JT, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Hey, I'm out here early, man. Ride with me to work right now, man. I'm riding to work right now. Well, I'm about to go work out right now, but ride with me, man. going hard today, man. Swole today. We're doing legs. So I'm working out football calves, man. 
football calves is what I'm going for. A lot of people don't work calves, so I want to be the person in the wheelchair with the big legs and the big calves. And people wonder, man, how you get those calves in a wheelchair? Because I worked them, and you didn't. Hold on, let me see what's up. <laughs> Uh, you say it's too early to get swole. Hey, it ain't never too early to get swole, my guy. I'm getting swole every day, all day long, you hear me? <laughs> if I could, I'd be pumping in my sleep, man. <laughs> it ain't never too early to get swole. The early bird get the games. We only got 24 hours in the day. Fix my camera for you so you can see. Now y'all see that gallon of water down there. It's a gallon of water a day. Let's go, JT. Get that gallon of water in, man. I know you riding a bike out of control. Get that water in. You'll be good to go. thing man y'all just gotta y'all just gotta show up you know what i'm saying do your best every day go for what you want apply action behind that man and make it happy you know i don't learn so much just in these oh yeah four months in a year in these four months I don't learn so much. And I'm just trying to just keep adding on to that. Try to figure out a way y'all can add value to your community, man. Figure out a way y'all can add value to somebody else. And then hopefully, that person you add value to, hopefully they will take that and add value to somebody else. And, and the cycle continues. And before you know it, Changing the community. Figure out whatever it is you're good at. Figure out what you're good at and tap into it. You know? And take whatever you good at, whatever you good at and make it and make it work for you. I know I'm good at motivating people and inspiring people, so I feel like Right now I'm tapped into that and, and I'm just trying to just keep pushing that message, just keep pushing people to the next level. Just to let them know. If I can do what I hear in this wheelchair with cerebral palsy, you can, you can do anything. Cause a lot of y'all ain't got no issues going on with you right now, but you still wake up complaining. You in good health, you walking, standing up on two feet. But you still ain't out here doing it. You ain't out here getting it. You ain't out here applying no pressure. So a lot of y'all are not disabled in no way. But yet still, you more disabled than me. Cause you still sitting at home on the couch doing nothing, making excuses. So you tell me who's the most, who's disabled, me or you? Me or the person who's sitting at home making excuses? 
There's a light, you can't get nothing done. We just gotta wake up, y'all. If you're able to wake up, get out the bed and stand up. And you gotta just quit being lazy out right here and go get it. It's out here if you want it. You gotta apply effort. Pray, apply effort, and execute. And don't stop. I know ain't nobody on my live right now because y'all all asleep. I like this new mountain goat. It gives y'all a chance to see how I really move around out here. I know my story. They said I was gonna be a vegetable growing up, y'all. Y'all see me every day. I'm out here moving, man. What a vegetable is that? I don't think I'm doing vegetables these days. Is eating them, you hear me? They said I was gonna be a vegetable. That's crazy, man. So I always say, man, doctors are smart, you know. They are smart. I ain't gonna take that away from them. But they don't know everything. And I'm proof. I'm proof that doctors don't know everything. I'm going to keep showing y'all that I know everything. One day I'm going to walk. I'm going to take that first step. And that's going to be the ultimate inspiration for y'all. Believe me, it's gonna happen. But my whole thing is just believing in yourself, man. Just pushing forward, believing in yourself. If somebody say you can't do something, you know you can. Do it. Don't listen to those people that say you can't do it. Like I said, they said I was going to be a vegetable. I was going to always be dependent on somebody to help me do something. That was, that was a lie. What y'all doing today? What y'all working out today? I'm doing legs and core. What y'all working out today?
I know y'all still sleep. I'm on the floor at four every day. It don't matter if I go to bed at 11, 12 o'clock. I'm still up at four. There's only one way to win out here though, y'all, to be quite honest. Only one way to win, ain't no shortcuts. You gotta just show up and be consistent. Shout out to C. Him, y'all, on Instagram. Y'all go follow him. That man running 120 miles from Atlanta to Chattanooga. Got one in five people born with a learning disabilities. Y'all go check him out. C. Him on Instagram. He running 120 miles. Running 120 miles from Atlanta to Chattanooga. That's amazing. And y'all yeah, know I'm doing a 5K September 6th in a mango wheelchair. I want y'all to meet me at the finish line. I'm gonna need it. I know it ain't nothing but people gonna be like, oh, it ain't nothing but three miles, but. Rolling three miles with me is tough, y'all. Day to day, day to day, everyday life, I'm in a power wheelchair. I'm gonna do it at the time just because I gotta do, I gotta do so much and it just, it helps me save energy when I get to do it with my kids and going to work and doing different daily tasks. So, a lot of time in a power wheelchair, but, I said I'm going to 5K, I'm going to be in a mega wheelchair pushing 3.7 miles. I'm a little worried about it, a little nervous, but I'm always looking to challenge myself, so I'm up for it. But my, my 5K ain't got nothing on I'm going to get breathing. See that him on Instagram, everybody doing 120 miles. Yeah. Good. So I feel like if he can run 120 miles, sure I can push three of them. Come on now. So yeah, that's my that's my next big thing. I also want to do a lot more giving back this year, so I wanna um we had this thing at the YMCA called the Miracle League. And it's for it's for people with disabilities to be able to play sports. And I like that one with adaptive sports. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Basically what it is, it's, it's modified baseball for people with disabilities. And we have that program at the YMCA. And I wanna, I wanna pay for two people, two kids, with disabilities to come play come play baseball this year. So 
If you have a kid with a disability, or you know somebody with a disability, and you think they would like to play baseball, then y'all let me know. Like I said, I'm gonna pay for, I'm gonna pay for two of them. I'll be putting it on. I'll be making a post about it in a couple of days. I'm gonna pay for two kids to play. Miracle League Baseball. Well, that should be fun. I'll be going up. Also, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be coming to the Walnut Street Bridge and roll out some miles. <sighs> so, if y'all wanna meet me out there on the bridge in a couple of weeks, man, I look forward to that. That's gonna be fun. I'll be putting a flower for that this week. I said, I'm going to be rolling back and forth on the Walnut Street Bridge, just rolling out some miles. I'll come out with me. That's going to be in a couple of weeks. Other than that, y'all, I'm almost to the house of Swole. Man, y'all, I'm almost to the places. I look crazy. I got on headphones. Then I got the phone man around my neck. I bet people probably looking at me like, man, that, that dude, no, he crazy. <laughs> it's all good though. Whatever works.
now, y'all. I'm almost to my destination. I hope everybody have a great week. Like I always say, find over disability. Your disability is whatever stopping you from reaching your goal. That's your disability. Not your diagnosis. Hey, y'all have a great week, man. Keep pushing forward. Live life with no excuses. All right, I'm out. Y'all stay swole. Thank y'all for riding with me. I'm out, man. Y'all stay swole.